In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do loops on TCAN's Fluent Control software. So I'm teaching you how to become more fluent with Fluent Control software. Because let's be honest, most of us are illiterate, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. The first thing that's a good practice is to define some variables. So let's go and define some variables. So let's go to group first. So let's create a group. Programming group. There we go. And we'll call this one sample variables. So in this group, all we're trying to do is name some variables for volumes. So let's go set variable here. And we'll call that one eval, you know, we'll set that value as like 200 microliters. And then we could declare that. And then we could do another variable and we'll call that one sval, leave that as 200. The reason why I like to set variables is because say for example, you call um, eval 10 times during a script. Well, if you wanted to change that volume, you now have to go through the script, check and make sure every instance is changed. And if you missed one, then you kind of mess the whole thing up. Whereas if you just define the global variable, if you wanted to change the volume for the assay, you change it in one place and it's changed everywhere. So it's a much more elegant way of doing things. So now we have the global variables defined. Let's go ahead and create our first loop. Let's first create another group. Go ahead and create another group and let's call this one ethanol. So here we're just gonna add ethanol from a trough to, the, to a 96 well plate. So now we're gonna do our first loop. We're gonna pipette from the ethanol reservoir, which is a trough, into a 96 well plate. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get tips. So click on FCA and let's click get tips. Boom. Let's define our first loop. So let's go over to programming and let's drag in loop. And we'll call this one ethanol addition. And we'll call that one 12 loops and we'll declare the variable i. Okay, now we're gonna both aspirate and dispense the sample. So let's go ahead and aspirate. We're gonna aspirate over here. You can see here, these are all the volume eval. There's no well offset here, so that's gonna be zero. And then now let's dispense. Dispense. Okay, drag that into the loop. And here, we're also calling the volume eval, and the well offset should be here, eight times i minus eight. And then we can also use the same uh, liquid class here. Let me explain to you what's going on. We define the variable here as i, and we have 12 loops. So we're gonna do this 12 times. So let's say if i equals one, then that's gonna be eight times one minus eight, which is zero. So there's no well offset here. If i is two, then it's gonna be 16 minus eight, which would offset the wells by eight. So you would start here. You see if I did this 12 times, I would fill this entire plate. And then after this loop, I'm simply gonna drop my tips. So then I can, you know, go here and click drop tips. I guess I don't have a waste chute on here, so, oh yeah, we do, here we go. Yep, and the waste chute, okay. And, and then that should be it. So that is an example of a loop if we're going from trough to plate. Uh, and then I could put that all into a group. So let's, let's group that just so it makes things easy to view. So let's call that a group. and we'll call this one ethanol edition. And then we can just move all of these things here. Okay. Now, if we're gonna do the same thing, we can do it from plate to plate. So what you can do is you can simply copy selection and paste selection. That way you have the format, it makes things really easy. Let's call this one, instead of ethanol addition, we could call it ethanol distribution, it doesn't matter. And then again, we're gonna get the tips, so that looks good. And then we're gonna loop 12 times, and then 
instead of dispense it aspirating from trough to plate, we can aspirate from plate one. And again, the well offset is eight times I minus eight. And we can dispense to plate two. So you can see here is plate one. We can dispense it to plate two over here. Okay. There you go. That's how we go from plate to plate. If you want to bypass all of this, there is an even easier way to do things and the way that I prefer to do things most of the time if I can. And I use something called reagent distribution or, or sample transfer. If I'm doing reagent distribution, I could simply say evol here. I forgot to mention that here instead of calling it evol, um, I was going to change these to SVOL. Ah, see? Global variables for the win. Here, what I can do is I can just specify this guy. And I could dispense into all the volume, and I could select the lab where over here. Destination is here. Right? Right? So I can just tell it to, hey, take all this and, and fill this plate. So that's super simple, right? And you can even tell it which direction to go and replicates and whatnot, but here it's just simple. And then if I wanted to do plate to plate, I can choose sample transfer and I can call this one SVOL over here. And I can go from, this is plate one and this is plate two. You can select everything just by clicking the top left corner here. And to make sure we have the same liquid class. And you essentially did the same thing, but just like much easier. This should be multi. I have to choose a different liquid class so that this reagent distribution works. And now, you know how to do loops. <laughs> and now you are fluent in uh, making loops and distributing reagent. You go, guy or gal. <laughs>